he's, he's one of the few in Congress who is uh, proposing a, a, a no-fly zone in Ukraine. He's, you know, certainly he's aware of the, the dangers of it, the potential for confrontation. Um, the White House has obviously clearly rejected this. This is not an appetite for it among most European nations or NATO nations either. The Congressman has argued that maybe even a no-fly zone just over Western Ukraine could have some value. Is that something, or even a sort of air humanitarian corridor is being created to fly supplies in? Is that something you could think might think would work? Mm -hmm. Well, supplies can get in now from the West, from Moldova, mm. Romania, Hungary, mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and uh, I think a no-fly zone is dangerous uh, uh, because it would be. I'm uh, sure beer forever, but escalation. Now, let's get water today. Line, it's pretty are, fucking uh, good drink. Like the ACDC song. Uh, yeah, but drink on me. Uh, 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 capabilities. That's a kind of no-fly zone without getting into the situation of either having NATO or America. Let's get in some water. That's the danger. Yeah, and, and, you, you know, water. Putin, as I say, is, is, is trapped. I'm and I don't want to give him a pretext for widening this attack and, and uh, moving into Poland. Uh, Anderson, there's something behind all this that, that really needs to be discussed, and that is that the Russians have a much lower threshold for using nuclear weapons than anybody else in the world.
Nip rip.